This is in Parshas for Era and refers to the Pasuk at the beginning of the Parsha, which actually continues from the end of Parsha Shemais. So at the end of Shemais, uh, Moshe says to Hashem, why did you do bad to this people? The slavery has only gotten worse. Why? And then at the beginning of the era, Hashem responds and says that the Pasuk says, Akim. Hashem spoke to Moshe and he said, Ani havaya. I am uh, Havaya. Uh, and uh, then, uh, which is the uh, name of Hashem representing beyond nature. And then he continues and says, I appeared to the Avram Yitzhak and Yaakov, to the Aves, and uh, I appeared to them with the name Kel Shakai, whereas I, they didn't uh, get to know, they didn't get to, to see the name Havaya. And simply Rashi explains this means that the, the promises to them were not uh, fulfilled and nevertheless they still had faith in me, whereas you don't have faith in me. But let's understand what, what this, what Moshe's question was and what the answer is, Api Hasidus. So, and also in general, we need to understand Moshe has a good question. Why is Gala so hard? Why is Gala so difficult and, and so much uh, disturbance and persecution and so long? What purpose does it serve? So now, first of all, we need to look at the two names of Hashem that are mentioned in the Pasuk here, the Shem Havaya and Shem Elikim. So Elikim is the name of Hashem, which is associated with multiplicity and plural. But to the extent that we see, it's sometimes using plural about Hashem Elikim. For example, Elikim Kadoshim, Hashem, Hashem is holy, it uses Kadoshim, not Kadosh, in, pl in plural. Whereas uh, Hashem Havai is always one. So the idea is because Hashem Elikim is the name of Hashem related to Malchus, related to uh, limitation, uh, limiting Hashem's light in order to allow for multiplicity of creations. Uh, and so this is like the ray of the sun, which the sun itself is one and is uh, and is beyond. It's too, it would be too powerful for us to receive, whereas the rays give give off the light of the sun, but in a limited way. So this all comes from Shemla Kim. In addition, within within that there is the high worlds and the low worlds. In the high worlds, the main focus is my God law. How great are your works? That there's these amazing, great creations spiritually. Uh, um uplifted creations and then our world where there's more rabble there's even more multiplicity and therefore we say my rabble must say hashem how many are your works hashem now uh, but when a tzaddik uh, is uh, serving hashem within within according to his level and and developing uh, ava love of hashem according to what he can achieve and then every mitzvah then then the tzaddik is rewarded and uh, the Mishnah says, the end of the whole Mishnah is, says that he's rewarded with Shayelm, 310 worlds. So what's this idea? Is he looking for spiritual real estate? What, what's going on here? Al-Trev explains that the Tzaddik is through each mitzvah, he receives a certain light of Hashem. And every Tzaddik is different and does the mitzvahs according to his own way and does the different set of mitzvahs. And therefore, each one has his own set of worlds. Each one is a... Uh, is, uh, basking in Hashem's light and having pleasure from Hashem in a different way. Uh, but that's all within the name Elohim, that where you have multiplicity and many different types of, revel of uh, revelation and, and different spheres, etc. Whereas Shem Havaya is beyond all that. And Shem Havaya is simply one. It's Hashem as he is beyond, beyond coming down and, and making allowances and creating differences for different creations. Now, in order to develop a passion for Hashem, Ava, Yira, it always starts from Hashem Elikim, because we don't understand Havai, Havai is beyond us. For Hashem Elikim, Hashem is a creator, He cares for us, He's involved with us, that we can understand. And that can, we can create a love of Hashem through thinking about Hashem as He is in Hashem Elikim, or a reverence of Hashem. When we talk about Hashem's greatness, that could only be Hashem Elikim. Hashem Havai is just totally beyond. We can't talk about Hashem's greatness even. So, therefore, the Ava is that Avram is the epitome of Chesed uh, and Ava, loving kindness, and the middle of la, Ava, love of Hashem, whereas Yitzhak is reverence of Hashem, or of Hashem. So, they, that all comes from Shem Kim, which uh, from Shem Kim you can understand and come to an Ava and Yira. And that's what the, where the Tzaddikim, they, they have the 310 worlds also from Shem Kim, and that's why 310 is Yesh. Yes means a separate existence, a separate entity and being.
and uh, what the tzaddik wants to bring down and what we want to bring down through our Ava of Hashem, which is quite limited, is a greater love of Hashem as a gift from beyond. But that is still all within uh, Shem Alekim or Shakai, the name Shakai, uh, is uh, is sort of the bridge between our love and Hashem's love because it it it, it it's about limits. Shakai comes from the meaning Sha'omalai Dai. He tells the world enough, meaning that, that create limits for the world so that we're able to take in Hashem's light. But then there's Shem Havaya. Shem Havaya is totally beyond. Shem Havaya is, is uh, the mitzvahs as they, they are one with Hashem. And when we do a mitzvah, therefore we connect Hashem as he is beyond worlds. And this uh, was only possible from Matan Torah. The Ovis were before Matan Torah, so they couldn't uh, connect to Shem Havaya, whereas we can. But in order for that to happen, there's first a concealment, which is the, and, and a golos. And uh, th- that's why there was the golos and all the difficulties 210 years in Egypt in order to get to Matan Torah afterwards. And similarly, now we, we've been in a long Golos, Golos Edom for almost uh, 2,000 years. And the purpose is that we're going to have the greatest revelation with Mashiach very soon. And uh, therefore, this is a preparation for that. And that's the answer to Moshe's question. Why is things so hard? Because we're moving away from the level of the Avos. Avos, we're connecting to Hashem, but in a limited way. And uh, the, with the Avos, there was no... Uh, uh, you know, uh, leaving out uh, because the, with others there was no leaving out of others. It was Ram Al Kolkayim Havaya, Hashem is beyond all nations. So therefore, there was uh, th- there wasn't this uh, hatred from other nations either. Whereas once Hashem chooses us in particular for Torah mitzvahs, and therefore we're we're the only ones able to achieve this sort of higher level connection. So that creates difference and hatred, and that's why Har Sinai, where we received the Torah. Sinai comes from the word, like the Gemara says, sinna, hatred. That uh, Har Sinai caused the uh, uh, hatred, the, the anti-Semitism, uh, because of this uh, uh, difference that we're able to connect to Shem Havaya. That's the spiritual source of it, and uh, because uh, because uh, the the revelation with Mashiach is much more powerful than uh, with Mitzrayim, so therefore, and with the Matan Torah, because with Matan Torah we we saw what is normally heard, but with Mashiach it's even greater. Ayin bayin that we'll see Hashem eye to eye. Therefore, the goal is in preparation for that is much more. So the. In short, though, the Avos were trying to go up to Hashem, whereas we, through mitzvahs, are trying to bring Hashem into this world so that Hashem should, uh, Hashem Avaya should be fully manifest within this world, which will be fully achieved with Mashiach. And that, but the idea in the meantime, even, is that our Torah, when we say words of Torah with Bittel, so then Hashem is speaking through us. When we do a mitzvah, especially with Torah, that's where it's most. But in general, with a mitzvah as well. So we're mirroring Hashem's mitzvah. And uh, therefore, our Torah mitzvah is uh, primarily in a way of shuv, bring Hashem into the world. And that's the second love, the love of B'chol Nafshecha, all our soul, that our whole soul just mirrors and is fuses with Hashem. Hashem speaks through us, whereas the first love, B'chol Levavcha, with all your heart, is the, uh, our whole self jumping up in Ratzi towards Hashem.